ice cream or coconut? That is the subject of today's food for thought video. Hi guys, my name is Jodie Bunting and today we're talking about another keto supplement. Now these are by Bulk Powders uh, and this one is the Complete Keto Shake Vanilla Ice Cream Flavour. Even just having it near my mouth, my sensations are going crazy because that smells so good. Or the other one that I've got today is the Complete Keto Shake Coconut Flavour. So these are keto ones. Now I've been speaking a lot about keto powders. I'm trying them all basically. There's the Slim Fast brand which I introduce you to, uh, which is £12 per 10 servings. Uh, and then we were talking about the vegan one last week. Remember the keto vegan shake, uh, which is pea protein. And we're back on to the whey protein. So this is uh, milk protein. Uh, but as I said, the most important thing about this one is these amazing flavours. So this one's a vanilla ice cream and this one is coconut. Now the bad news, let's get rid of the bad news first of all. They have got artificial sweeteners in, so it's got sucrose in. Uh, so again, if you get migraines quite easily or you react to artificial sweeteners, these are not for you. So the other ones that I spoke about, especially the pea protein one, that contains stevia, which is a natural sweetener. But these have got artificial sweeteners in, guys. So if you do have any sort of reaction with artificial sweeteners, these may not be good for you. Um, but we are going to try these today. Um, now, the other morning I had the vanilla ice cream for breakfast. And to be honest, it was e like eating vanilla ice cream for breakfast. It was just like a sugar sensation, just too much. So we're going to try that one second. So we're going to try first the coconut one. Now, the coconut one it is still quite sweet. Um, but it's not quite as blow your head off as the vanilla ice cream, which if something calls themselves vanilla ice cream, you expect it to, to blow your head off in a good way. Now, because obviously I'm watching my calories, I'm going to make half measure today. So normally what you would do, uh, for those of you who would like to try this, by the way, there is a code for 35% off. So if you would like that, then just click on that link in the title. Um, so the instructions for this are you need 300 ml of water. But as I said, I'm having half a shake today because I don't want to waste anything. So I'm going to put into my shaker 150 ml of cold water. Now that is ice cold water. For those of you making shakes, if you do use really cold water, your shake does taste so much better. Okay, so imagine that's 300 mils of water and then I will get my coconut flavoured powder and you'll be pleased to know you do get a uh, shovel. <laughs> a shovel, is it called a shovel? Uh, and what you would do, if you had 300 mils of um, water, then what you would do is to put two big scoops in your shaker. But as I said, I'm making half measure. So I've just got one scoop in there with my 150 ml of water. And can I just say, oh, I could literally just sit here and just sniff this powder. It smells so good, like coconutty, sweet, sugary. It's divine, it's just absolutely divine. Now, for those of you that are, I bought these last year and bulk powders have now been rebranded to just called bulk, okay? I actually don't like that name, but overweight people just calling yourself bulk is not necessarily cool, is it? I like bulk powders and I like this colour. It's now just called bulk and it's just black and white. Boring. Go back to bulk powders, guys. Anyway. So let's go back to our taster. So in here, I have my coconut shake. And as always with these coconut shakes, you make sure you've got a secure container. Make sure you close the lid properly. And then all you do is just shake. Now, as always, being a nutritional professional, I would always recommend to have something fresh when you're having your shakes. So you could throw in here maybe a handful of strawberries, a handful of blueberries, a bit of raspberry, you know, just something to make sure your body's getting some fresh goodness. So here we have our coconut keto shake. Now, as I said, if this was a real serving, you would get double. Now, the 
the, what I always find with keto shakes more than protein shakes is that these are really more filling because they've got a higher fat content. Uh, by the way, this is why keto works is because they all the products you're eating and drinking have got a high fat content. Uh, I am finding that I'm feeling really full on these more than a protein shake. So let's bang this down. Hi Donna, welcome to the live video. Now, the slim fast variety of this is really thick. The advantage of these ones are they're really sweet. And as I said, the reason they are so sweet is because they've got the artificial sweetener in, which isn't necessarily a good thing. But if you are coming off sugar, uh, then maybe moving on to something like this is a better option for you. Now, although the coconut flavour is fake, and you can tell it's fake, it's still quite nice. You know, I am actually quite enjoying this. For some weird reason, I can almost taste the vanilla ice cream in this as well, but you're also getting that coconut flavour. Now, I'm just gonna open the website so I can give you some information. Uh, first of all, it's 20 99 for one kilo, which is 20 servings, so basically about a pound a go, which uh, if you compare it to the Keto Slim Fast, uh, which is £12 for 10 servings, so obviously that's just over a pound, so it's slightly cheaper than Slim Fast. Let me read you the description. Um... And the ultimate keto-friendly protein shake exclusively to bulk, combining 21.9 grams of pure whey protein with 9 grams of MCT, which is basically uh, what makes it keto. 5 grams of fibre uh, for a single serving of 50 grams, along with uh, green tea extract and something gum. Uh, with all in all, less than one gram of sugar, which is obviously great news. A keto Shake is our solution for trainers pursuing the popular ketogenic diet requiring high fat and low sugar consumption. What they forget to tell you guys, it should also be a low protein, but this is more of a high protein, but forget that a minute. Our formula provides all the necessarily protein nutrients with a high fat, low carb nutrient balance, reinforcing, reinforced with the essential nutrients support your journey. Um, I'm not going to read any more about that because we want to move on to the ingredients, don't we? This is the important bit for us. So let me uh, just move down to the ingredients. So per shake, so per 50 grams, 300 mils of water, uh, 223 calories. They're very similar. All protein and keto shakes seems to be about 200 calories. And as we said earlier, 21 grams of protein, 10 grams of fat. Fiber is 5.4 grams of fiber. Uh, and it's also, we don't need, we don't care about that. Right, ingredients. Whey protein, which is basically milk and soya. MCT powder, which is uh, medium chain triglycerides, which basically is fat powder. Um, fibre gum, which is obviously the artificial fibre in this. Flavourings, um, a few things that I can't um, pronounce, which is never a good thing, by the way. If you don't know what it is, you shouldn't be having it. Um, lectins, emulsifier, green tea extract, uh, some gum and sweetener, which, as I said, is silk rose and a few other bits and bobs. So as you can, you know, I just don't feel... And I never ever used to recommend powders or drink them myself. And then as I got older, as I got started to realise that just being in the kitchen is a bad thing for an overeater, uh, the more I use these sorts of shakes just to help me out. So, you know, if you have got loads of time, if you enjoy cooking from scratch, then these shakes aren't for you. Uh, but if you do find that you run a busy life and you need just something quick, then I do feel like there is a place for these. So let me finish that off. So that was the bulk coconut flavoured keto shake. Now we're going to move on to the brother, 
And this is the vanilla ice cream flavor. Now, as I, for those of you just joining us, I had this for breakfast the other day. It was a wrong idea. If you just think about eating a, a vanilla ice cream for breakfast, it's, it's not a good idea, is it, guys? So let me just pop. So I'm popping a scoop of that in. So a scoop of my vanilla ice cream. So we've tried the uh, coconut one before. I'm gonna give that a little shake. Again, I'll scratch and sniff. It smells so good, so sweet. If you've got one of those shakers that's got the ball in, my SlimFast one did have the ball in, but I've lost the ball. Um, the ball does help, obviously, just to mix the powder with your water, especially with the uh, keto one, because obviously it's higher fat. So this is now my vanilla ice cream. So let's give this one a try. Now, as I said earlier, it's not just, the thing is, it's not just the ice cream. I can taste in this the cone. <laughs> it's a really weird sensation, like tasting a cone in a liquid form. It's like, it's like crazy for your head. But it is nice. I don't know how, 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 bulk powders, how do you get the taste of a cone into this keto shake? It just reminds me of being on the British beach in the very rare sunny day. <laughs> but as you can tell by the way I'm drinking it, that is delicious, guys. So for those of you just joining us, I'm currently downing the vanilla ice cream keto shake by bulkpowders.com. Um, and... I've just been going through the prices on the website, 20.99 for 20 servings. There's also a 2.5 kilo, which is 50 pounds. Obviously the, the more you buy, uh, the cheaper it is. And I've shared with you on the title, and I'll put it in the comments in a moment, a 35% off using that link as well. So if you are on keto uh, or you fancy trying it for the first time, not really sure how your meal should look, um, I would definitely recommend uh, trying some keto shakes. The ones that I've got here from Bulk Powders, your local supermarkets will also stock the Slim Fast Keto, uh, which I really recommend. It is a little bit more expensive than these ones, uh, but the consistency is nice. You do get more here, you get 300 mil for your calories. Um, with the Slim Fast one, you only get 200 mil. Um, and the vegan one, which I tried the other day, was, I think it was 250, but that one was really, it was nice, and obviously it's the most healthy from all the ones that I've been reviewing, um, but it was quite weak in flavor. First thing in the morning with some fresh fruit, it's great, but if you want something for now, or for those of you who are coming off a lot of sugar and a lot of flavours and foods, you may not enjoy that one. Uh, but as I said, this one may be for you. Uh, there's one more I've got to try. Uh, I'm going to order a strawberry and vanilla one from my protein. So that's the final one that I'm going to be trialling in a couple of weeks. But I, I really want to finish these before I buy some more. So that's it, guys. Thank you for joining me. Have you tried Slim Fast Keto? What do you think of keto? What do you think of shakes? As always, leave us a comment, like the video, share this video if your friends will be liking it or finding it useful. And if you're watching on YouTube, please press subscribe. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you're just joining us and you want to watch it from the beginning, it will be available in a few moments at youtube.com forward slash Jodie Bunting and remember we're live every day at 8am for a workout and 4.30 every single day uh, just before Boris is briefing ready to give you your daily food for thought which is your health tip and do remember if you'd like to download my free diet plan just go to jodiebunting.com join my mailing list enter your email address and you'll get an instant copy of my keto and my great grandmother diet, guys. So you can go and do that straight away. Uh, tomorrow, 
Uh, this time tomorrow, we're either going to be talking about Simply Cook, or if I've been shopping, then we'll be talking about my Tesco shop. Uh, and tomorrow morning is Tone Tuesday, so join me at 8 o'clock to do a little bit of toning. Thank you for joining me on this Monday, the 1st of March. Uh, you can also leave us a comment, what is your goal for this month, guys? Thank you for joining us. See you again tomorrow.